Okay. Well. Okay. Um, this is gonna be annoying. Do I just? I don't want to mute myself because that's not gonna be helpful. But. Twitch. Maybe? Oh shit, maybe? Hang on. Oh my god. That is so much better. I'm such an idiot. Hang on. Okay, can I be heard? There's a slight echo. echoing and that might be because this mic is not really used for that kind of thing but
I think I found the reason why that sucks. But I found it, and I am happy with it. Yeah, there's still an echo. Like I said, maybe it'll go away when I meet the stream. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it doesn't. Let me just test that out. La da 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 Any lurker boys in my chat that, uh, I mean, I know it says that two people are watching, but, um, would it be possible to s type in chat and see how audio levels are? Just sorry, I'm just messing around in chat. I'm messing around with uh, the stream because this is my first time ever streaming. Well, I mean, I tried to do it yesterday, but I was just messing around, seeing how it ticks. I guess we can get right on to that, but I do want to have Twitch chat up. Alright, so I guess we'll get this started then. So uh, earlier today, I tried to watch or react to the uh, Marvel Avengers uh, story trailer that they tried to do, but um, it didn't exactly work out considering the fact that I had major audio issues for no reason. But for that matter of, we're going to just be uh, watching it now. So I guess with that out of the way, I guess we can get started on that. And then we will also be discuss discussing it uh, afterwards.
honestly, this looks really good. I don't know why, but the models look a lot better than they did back when they showed the game off at E3. I'll say that. I mean, I know that there's multiple villains in this game. Like, um, what's it called? I know Taskmaster's in it. Modok's clearly in it. Uh, I wonder if the others are in it. So I'm really excited to see what kind of stuff we have like that. Like, this looks good. And September 4th, 2020. This looks good. This game really does look good. Uh, now we'll go to the... Hang on. Uh, combat. Yeah, gameplay overview. There we go. That's the one I want. that and then see what's going on with that but other than that in all honesty I'm excited to see what we got I will be going through the other trailer too just to go through what I thought of it and everything. I'm curious if we can turn the damage numbers off. They have his planet Hulk design. That's okay. That's freaking cool. That is so cool. I want to play this through on stream. Like this looks so much fun. Also, by the way, this uh, title, this little card right here, it looks like something out of Avengers Endgame when the Hulk uses it. He uses the uh, gauntlet. He looks like Ultron right there too and I love it. Another way to customize your heroes is with gear. 
Yeah, this is Destiny style esque, and I see what people mean. But what did you expect? Also check out that gameplay trailer and then we're gonna go through it again and we're gonna talk about it and then we'll switch up games. We'll switch up gears. I honestly do recommend I honestly want to know what you guys are thinking of like uh, of this game uh, because people are saying that this game looks bad and that it runs at a shitty uh, rate of progression, but other than that, like, I get, I get what you mean, but this stuff right here, it's from a pre-release game build, meaning it's an alpha. This game was still an alpha when they recorded this, so it might look better in the final build. There we go, 1080p 60. Just need that, need that beautiful 1080p. Okay, I didn't notice that. That's cute. That's from the first Thor movie. <laughs> You're welcome. Like, this looks great. I'm excited, and this is four-player co-op. I'm really excited. I'm really excited, because it's four-player co-op, and I get to play with, like, Jack and everyone. I'm really excited. And I hope too soon, by the way, to get a capture card so I can hook up my PlayStation to this and I can do streams. I don't know, like, I guess the main, main villain is MODOK. But I'm really kind of like wondering how many other villains are in this. I wonder if Loki's going to be in this. I wonder if uh, any other like major Marvel villains. Because I know Taskmaster's in this. And the fact that Kamala is actually like an official like Avenger now, kind of I guess, is kind of cool. It's very impressive. <coughs> Excuse me.
Like, there's got to be, like, major combo attacks that we can do as well, and it would look cool as hell. Like that! I feel like that wasn't on purpose. I feel like he meant to, like, you know, go in for an attack, but unfortunately missed up. And it's weird, though. We only see a lot of Thor gameplay. We don't see a lot of any other Avenger gameplay. When they saw that uh, gameplay trailer at uh, Comic-Con, we only got Thor. And we got all of them. We got Hulk, Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man, and Black Widow. We got all of them. But I want to see more of what they can do. Yeah, we saw a little bit in the other trailer, but we didn't really get to see too, too much. Unless we get to see more here and I'm just completely ma I'm completely wrong. <laughs> Damn. I can see Thor being a good uh, opponent on robotic enemies. Because this Thor seems to be good with dealing with the bigger enemies, whereas probably Iron Man and Hulk are good with big crowds of enemies. Which would make sense. Damn. Also, Nolan North as Iron Man, it took a while to get used to, but I'm liking him now. He was always Deadpool in my eyes. So if Deadpool's in this game, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> this is them exp this is them explaining that that is impossible. This is cool! How, like, how could you not like this? I guess we'll go through the entire presentation in a sec here. And there was that. And then that, it was fading to black, and that's how it ended. Uh, but now we're going to be talking about uh, the entire uh, event. So I'm interested to see, like, what's. We got what we got. Out in less than 10 seconds. So, why don't we go through it? We got 26 minutes, basically. Good old half hour of discussion with me pausing and going through. Love that we have the classic Marvel logo. Not even MCU, it's just the classic Marvel Comics logo that we normally get when we see movies like The X Men or something. Right after the here, uh, what I like is they have the statue of Captain America, but it's all graffitied, and you know it looks looks like people were like it doesn't look as clean as it did in the uh, Comic Con trailer. It looks like um, a bunch of other stuff. It looks like it's just in a random park, probably somewhere in L.A. I would assume because I knew in the Spider-Man game. Uh, Peter said, or yeah, Peter says uh, the Avengers are somewhere on the West Coast, so I'm assuming it was somewhere in LA. 
or hell, it could be Seattle for all I know. Uh, and I guess that this was this is Kamala's first appearance. Like this is when we first get to play as her, um, with her exploring around the statue area, and also these guys are probably gonna deface or defile the defile the entire uh, the statue. I think this is Thor. I, I can't really tell, but he has, like, the build of Thor, and he has, like, the hair, kind of, I can tell. And he probably just put the hammer down right here in front of it because he was always worthy of the hammer, especially as we've seen in Avengers Endgame. Oh, hang on. Let me go back here. Okay, no, this wasn't Thor. My bad. It was just some guy... Which hoping for Captain America and probably like trying to talk to these three about stopping whatever they're gonna do to the statue, and then he gets probably pushed down and Kamala's like, "What are you doing? You gotta stop it." Yeah. What? Are you oh no, maybe this was like her friends or something. I don't know because she's just like she's saying like, "What are you doing? Like this isn't you or something like something like that." Which, in all honesty, I, if I'm correct, Modok can he mind control people? So he's probably Modok's probably mind controlling. Uh, everyone who hates the Avengers in order to fill them with more rage for the Avengers. I'm not exactly too sure. And here we have, here we have uh, Kamala using her powers. Because she's an inhuman. And yeah, and she, that was like the first time she ever used it. And then we had we have uh, what looks to be AIM drones coming in and arresting any inhuman because... And then we have this entire sewer segment um, with AIM robots, and this is probably like a stealth segment. And yeah, we get surrounded. It's still in the sewer segment, so it's entirely possible that uh, she, what's it called? Uh, she gets captured, and this is, and then the Avengers have to break her out, or maybe she breaks herself out. And this was back in the first trailer with A Day, so. Yeah, I'm not. This seems like a very famous building. Oh no, wait, it is in San Francisco. It's in uh, it's in L.A. because uh, there's the Golden Gate Bridge. It's in California, so I don't know exactly what this building is, but it seems like the. It looks like the Chrysler Building from New York City, but I'm not exactly too sure on what building this is. And then we have some flashbacks with Inhumans. This is probably the doctor that's making all these robots. Probably some doctor we know, but I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, and this is them probably inflicting them with the inhuman, making them inhumans, or in this case, I guess a metahuman. But that's DC, so. And this guy seems to have, like, ice powers, I'm not sure. And then that was her probably escaping from the sewer and getting stunned in the neck. And then we have this scene with her waking up in the aim car with, with the MODOK. Oh, and there and there was the doctor again. I'll take my chances. Hang on, there. Boom. This was the doctor probably from that we saw in the last one. She's probably really, uh, what's it called? Oh, she probably is very close with Modok. Maybe he has like the most brain control over her because she's the weakest minded or something. If that's how Modok's things work, like kind of like the Jedi mind trick. The bitrate on Twitch wasn't that great, so... Whoops. Uh, we got a little bit of where probably Tony was hanging out. Because obviously his home wouldn't be the best place to figure out. So he's I think he's hanging out in this trailer right here. And, you know, where the first mission probably is with Bruce and uh, Kamala. Them wandering around, looking, wandering around this area, looking for Tony. And this is probably our first little bit of open world, maybe. Or not really open world, but, you know, explorer area, maybe. But I'm excited to see if this is, if they're going to implement some sort of open world exploration. And that looked like he was in a cave. Like, maybe he's kind of like Batman now, where he hops or operates in a cave. And here we have, uh, you know probably some fucking McDonald's or something like that over here in the corner because, you know, Tony, he would always 
we want that. He has a bottle of water right here with his computer and everything. So he basically brought his entire basement from his house uh, in this RV. So he probably means he has like Jarvis and everything like that. He probably has a few Iron Man suits stashed, stashed away in here. Now what I'm curious about is this picture right here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like, um, cause there's like a lot of post-it notes around and I think that's like a calendar over there, but I think this is supposed to be, um, freaking his wife or something maybe. And I'm not exactly too sure. Maybe it could be his mother. I'm not sure, but it looks like she's wearing glasses and I don't think Pepper Potts wears glasses, but I'd could be wrong. I mean, she wore one, I think, in, like, the first movie, first Iron Man movie, but even still, she didn't really wear glasses, I don't think. And we have more, probably more data on AIM and Iron Man suits in general. I mean, it's obviously this is his desktop, because I see a lot of, like, folder icons and stuff, but other than that, there's really not much to this scene. There's this video right here we see. This is the scene from A-Day with Captain America trying to fix the ship, and then this random doctor in the background just locks him out, and... And Thor appears out of nowhere. They're on the Chimera, uh, I guess, which is, I thought they were just on a, a shield helicarrier, but I guess not. Um, you know, Tony looks like he's in his uh, uh, Mark I outfit, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, I like his Mark I outfit, but it's, uh, or it looks more like his Mark II, like his prototype Mark II, because wasn't his prototype Mark II silver, or was that one also red and gold? Well, that's what I mean by prototype, so. Probably this is prototype Mark II. We have Kamala in her, like, her freaking comic book attire. Uh, and we also have Bruce Banner in the background. These two, probably, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents in the background. So I'm assuming that this is going to be the exact same scene from Avengers 1 where they were all, like, arguing in that one room in front of Loki's scepter, but instead it's going to be, like, the despair and tragicness of um, Cap's death. And Thor's like, we should all have stayed in hiding. Like, now we, now there are going to be even more people in danger and probably more of us are going to die because we're being so reckless right now. But, and then we're probably going to have, you know, the stupid sense of, like, oh, we need to help the world or something like that. And that's where Bruce comes in because, well, Bruce is siding probably with Thor on this one because he's like, hey, I don't want to do this because, you know, we all know Bruce Banner. We all know Bruce Banner. He's the character that immediately goes to, like, uh, I don't want to do this because I'm afraid I might hurt someone. And he's like, do you, and Tony goes like, do you really think the world's better off without us? And he goes, yes, mainly because of the fact uh, that, you know, he's... Bruce, he's Bruce Bennett. He's the Hulk. He doesn't want to hurt anyone. So, and then we get a better look at Kamala's uh, outfit right here. Uh, it looks like she just stitched it. And she didn't even stitch it together. It was just probably just like, I don't know, if Black Widow just probably made it for her or something. But I'm excited to see what kind of alternate costumes we can get for her with uh, the looter aspect of this game. <coughs> and then here we have the shirt uh, from th uh, this. So this is probably just before... Uh, the entire scene on the sh before the, the ship goes down, but that wouldn't make any sense. Oh wait, no, actually, hold on. This is probably the scene after where they're all like you know spread out, and then that's when Thor comes back uh, in the gameplay trailer that we'll see in a second, and I will also be talking about that. <laughs> so here's the thing. Also, it's weird because now we look at. I think this is this has to be Tony because he's in a suit. Uh, I'll also. Whatever these wirings are, they're going into his face. I don't really, I haven't really read the comics, so I don't exactly know like why these wires would be going into his face. But I'm not exactly too sure. Then here we have like one of the really good scenes where his eyes really start to turn green and his voice really starts to deepen. Um, then probably Natasha or something like says like we need to stop fighting and calm down or some bullshit. This that no, Kamala says it. She's like, this is exactly what AIM wants, the leader of AIM. I don't forget what name she says. What'd she say? What you are. This is exactly what Tarleton. Uh, Carlton? Tarleton? I have no idea. But uh, it looks seems to be like this is what 
this guy wants. Like, he wants some infighting with the Avengers, similar to what Loki wanted in Avengers 1. So I feel like this is very much, like, they're going up based off of, like, Avengers 1 kind of stuff, except instead of Loki being the main villain, it's someone else. So I have no idea. And then Hulk transforms on the ship. And then immediately fights Tony, because they needed to do something. Probably some fighting, and then... And then, you know, probably some infighting happens, and then, like, they calm everyone down after fighting for so long, and then they just break up for a little while, and then they come back and reconvene with this scene. Uh, what looks to be two, uh, two of these robots, they kind of, in my opinion, they kind of look like the robots from Injustice 2, uh, uh, where they, um... It kind of looks like Brainiac's little robots, if I am if I can say that. And this guy in the middle here obviously must be like some kind of commander robot. And these guys in the background, I'm not exactly too sure what they are, but it would be interesting to see what they can do. And we have some more type of like cyborgs, uh, one eye, and they probably have multiple things. Like this one up here has... You know, that, oh, that's creepy. <laughs> he has electrical powers, and he has, like, blades for arms. And he looks like he has an arc reactor in the center. So what I'm interested to see is if they if they stole <laughs> Tony's thing for his Unibeam, which would be really messed up. We've got some AIM soldiers. This AIM soldier, uh, I don't exactly know uh, what's going on with this one, and this one too, because they both look like they're like, oh my god, what's going on? What have we done? And then Natasha's probably going to knock her out or something like that. And then Hulk comes down to save Kamala, because she's been... She took a bit off more than she can chew, I guess. Oh! I didn't even notice that. We got... A, what's his name? Abomination or something like that? That's freaking cool. We got a uh, new Hulk guy. We got, the, we got the guy from The Incredible Hulk in this bitch, so that's going to be fucking cool to see and probably fight. Uh, we had a robot throwing Natasha. We have these guys teaming up right outside of a right outside of a dropship. Some guy on a random thing. Kamala using her arms as like uh, a rope so she can pull herself towards and kind of swing. Uh, Thor in his Mighty Avengers outfit, uh, the Mighty Thor outfit from the comics, and you know these two nameless aim, aim guys being the shit kicked out of. Same thing. This is just probably showing off their new outfits. I really love this outfit for Kamala. This outfit looks really nice. Uh, I really like it. Because it kind of also kind of reminds me of uh, Captain Marvel in a little bit. Uh, which, obviously, Kamala's name, superhero name is Miss Marvel. So, And her favorite superhero was uh, Captain Marvel. So it has like the same kind of color scheme as this. And here we go. There's MODOK right here. And then we got the logo. And this little badass screenshot with the main of the main Avengers of the game. Uh, obviously Captain America is missing because at this point in the story he's dead. But uh, they might bring they might find some way maybe he's not actually dead and Modoc takes control of him and that's how they fight how they do the final fight. Uh, I really like what they're going with with uh, Tony's uh, they're all their comic book style outfits like this especially for Tony like this is ripped straight out of the comics like I remember playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance I think it was two maybe one I don't really remember hell it could have been three for all I know but um this was an alternate outfit you can unlock for him and this was a stripped straight from the comics and I love how like it looks so stupid and I love it um but no, yeah, this like nice gold plating on his side when it's normally silver and everything like that this is supposed to signify the realms I think uh, a cape, Hulk, Hulk's Hulk, and uh, Black Widow leading the charge. Her nice little icon right. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, this is the subtitles. A uh, nice little icon right there. A little icon on there too. Whoa! And this was the Avengers War Table, and this is when it officially starts. And in here, this looks like to be inside the Chimera. So we get to see, oh, so we get to see what exactly is going on in uh, story-wise. What's up, Marvel fans? My name's Casey Lynch, and I'm editorial director at Crystal Dynamic. This is the Shield Helicarrier. Uh, maybe it's the name, the Chimera, and I'm just keep calling it the Shield Helicarrier. So, 
but whatever. Uh, we also have it probably floating over LA or something. But other than that, I guess we can continue on. Marvel's Avengers War Table is your direct source for all things Marvel's Avengers. We've got a great show lined up with new trailers, new details on one of our main villains, Modok, and advanced idea mechanics. And we'll take a first look at co-op and war zones. If you've ever thought, what is this game? Or how does it work? Then this is the show for you. Let's get into it, starting with the story trailer. In the aftermath of A-Day, everything changed. You so-called heroes transformed San Francisco into oh. an infectious... Yeah, okay, so this, uh, <laughs> so when the ship exploded, let me see if I can find that little part where the ship exploded, there, um, right here, when the ship exploded, uh, it released this shockwave in this little smoky area, apparently what Tony Stark had on board the ship, I think, would have been, is, uh, very poisonous and very, uh, toxic, so now, um, uh, we have a quarantine zone, in effect, for everything, in San Francisco, especially uh, divided by this line, so no like fishing or swimming in this area. There's the bridge in the background, and uh, there's the city probably dealing with the aftermath of the storm, probably if there is a storm. Uh, and there's this little sign right here that just says quarantine, so don't come in here. And then there's these like military guys with uh, big old guns on boats, probably patrolling the area. Quarantine zone. You unleash disease. Uh, this is probably like people doing like rioting and murdering people because they're like, ah, the Avengers brought this upon us, the world's ending, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay. So, the powerful being... Okay, so whatever Tony did, um... To whatever Tony had on board, it turned most of the people, affected them into mute or, uh, inhumans. So it's, uh, all Tony's fault. That's interesting. Didn't realize that in the trailer because I was still worked up. I don't really like know where to stop this, but I I saw that it was main guy probably. I want to say, I I could definitely be wrong. And this is uh Thor running, walking away, leaving his hammer right here for Captain America for his grave. I want to say this is Aldrich Killian. I don't know if they're bringing him back. I don't know if he's dead in the comics, but he's like the head of uh, AIM. So I wonder if they're bringing Killian into the into this when he's under like he's like working for Modok, obviously, because AIM is an evil corporation. But I want to know if this is Aldrich Killian. So that'd be kind of cool. We'll and you know, robots and everyone's like, wow, AIM's not actually so bad. This little this is actually kind of cute where. A dad and his son. The son high fives the robot because the robot's so freaking cool and has this holographic stop sign. I like it a lot. They're rebuilding everything that the Avengers destroyed to make them look really bad. And this is the this is kind of like a, a rip off of Avengers Tower, like half of Avengers Tower. Uh, there's this little like you know slant down here, and then it goes all the way over here, and then it goes immediately down, and then uh, uh, aims little thing. Uh, little icon, honestly, is like a, looks like a honeycomb from Banjo and Kazooie. So, <coughs> oh, it was originally Avengers Tower. That's why. Oh yeah, because A Day was the re the reveal of Avengers Tower in San Francisco, but now it's uh, Avengers Tower. Oh, uh, now it's gonna be Aim Tower. Oh, Tarleton, never mind. AIM, George Tarleton dreamt of a world made better through science. I wonder if Arjus Killian's still going to be in the game, though. As AIM promises a cure to end the inhuman infection, and the revolutionary adaptoid project offers a world protected by science, Tarleton, a victim of A-Day himself, uses AIM's technological might and the public's fear of inhumans to convince the world that the superpowered are uncontrollable and cannot be trusted. His deranged obsession drives him to become Modok, mental organism designed only for killing. Oh, okay. When choosing a villain, we knew we needed someone who had the muscle and mental capacity to become an Avengers level threat. We also wanted a new face for modern Avengers fans. This is interesting because the only time I've ever seen Modok appear in a video game 
was Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1. M Modok was like the main villain in, in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1. And he has never been in a video game, a Marvel, uh, an event, a Marvel game since, or even hasn't even appeared in the movies yet. But what I really like is that they're taking major inspiration from the comics, like his hair, his like uh, icon right here, and just his giant head and everything. It's just insane. Uh, big face. But comic fans know Modok is anything but new. His origin in Marvel lore dates back more than 50 years to October of 1967 in Tales of Suspense. Oh now, wow. With Ames drive to manipulate public fear. And this is also uh, leaves me hope for an open world segment mainly because like look at this this is just like you're walking past like a billboard probably in the, on the rooftop because you're you're an inhuman this is probably her on the way to Captain America's grave uh to say like to pay her respects or something and his ability to control machines with his mind oh it's recording oh it's uh, machine manipulation i thought it was human manipulation as well Milton and AIM are the most sophisticated threat the Avengers have ever faced. But a teenage fangirl named Kamala Khan doesn't trust AIM. In fact... Then we got some, uh, Captain America plushies, just some plushies back there in general. This We saw her actual room in a screenshot of, uh, of the game, uh, when they released a screenshot on Twitter. In fact, she's convinced that AIM is experimenting on her fellow humans under the guise of finding a cure. And she believes George Tarleton was behind the plot. To and she seems to be a, oh wow okay pause this on a really good scene. She apparently was able to hack or using Stark technology, Stark Industries tech, and <laughs> was able to gain access to AIM. Discredit the Avengers. And she Got a Captain Marvel thing in the background poster in the background. I saw Captain America Shield. Uh, nice little TV in the background and probably a couple like you know uh, posters. And then she probably finds Black Widow. Black Widow takes her up into the Chimera. They show they she, they, they show the, the video, and they're like, "We have to find Bruce, and we have to find Tony to show them all of this stuff." As you pick up the trail of the long disbanded Avengers, you'll advance the story of the single player campaign, unlocking more and more hero specific missions. We know you've been asking for new gameplay that's not for Mayday. We hear you. So here's a playthrough of part of a new Thor hero mission called Once an Avenger. And here we get some uh, more gameplay that I already went over, but I will be talking about... Uh, what's it called? I will be going more into detail. Like, you see here, Kamala Khan has her new, has her new outfit. Uh, that she's probably just thrown together. Uh, Iron Man, so this is obviously probably after... Uh, everything like they all start to meet up again and they all see the video and then uh, yeah the helicarrier is on top of uh, AIM tower and this reporter We're here live with the AIM in Manhattan, the wait a minute oh this game takes place now in Manhattan Oh, I didn't even hear this guy <laughs> the first time. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so Spider-Man can definitely show up in this game. Somewhere, somehow. And yeah, uh, also for keen eye of uh, people who love the movies, uh, D. Blake, um, that's not like his alias or anything. Thor always goes by Thor because he doesn't, sh he shows his face, so it's kind of hard to say that he's not Thor. Um... D. Blake, uh, this is actually the shirt that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, that, why am I drawing a blank on her name? Uh, oh my god, this is gonna kill me, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on her name. Oops, I just closed out of Twitch. Whoops. Uh, let me open that back up. I'm really drawing a blank on her name here, and I'm feeling very, very dumb. Oh, Jane. Jane. <laughs> I don't need it. Uh, this is actually the shirt that uh, Jane's Jane gives him, but has the name tag of D. Blake, which was the name of her ex-boyfriend. And uh, since it takes place in Manhattan, this must be Central Park. Uh, and it says... I, I can't really read what that says, because like, uh, that really uh, sucks, but it was a quote from Steve... And uh, he's calling back Mjolnir because he really needs Mjolnir for this fight. Is it any coincidence that this attack comes on the very day that AIM is supposed to unveil their promising new adaptoid program? 
Uh, so I guess if this does take place in Manhattan, that was Avengers Tower in the... It was Avengers Tower, so that was known as AIM Tower. So Spider-Man definitely has to show up in this game. They're just leaving him because people are like, they want Spider-Man. Or... <coughs> excuse me. Or because uh, Spider-Man... Uh, Spider-Man... Uh, I don't know. He because he never spoke. He never because Spider-Man just came out in uh, 2018, and that's when they kind of started showing off gameplay. Of this so they didn't want to put too much of Spider-Man in the game, or too much of Spider-Man in media, with you know them announced them having just then released Far From Home, and then Spider-Man, and then the Spider-Man game on PS4, and now they're gonna show him in this. Like that'd just be way too much. So. <clears throat> They're gonna probably save like a trailer for him at the very end or something, or maybe maybe like an unlockable character or something with Yuri Lowenthal doing a bunch of stuff because he doesn't say anything. This game must take place also after, uh, it must take place. Uh, obviously, that probably has a time jump. So what I'm assuming is gonna happen is it's gonna be, uh, hmm. it's going to be, uh, you know before during spider-man because when we visit the avengers tower he says they're on the west coast doing something uh, probably surfing or whatever so they always go they're going back there they always go to they then a day happens and then they come back to new york and everything because yeah, spider-man takes place over within a week spider-man's story takes place like with a week or something so so that's and with everything that Peter Parker went through, so it's entirely possible he, they can join him on this uh, journey. But I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do. Got Thor coming in. This guy's an eye patch, but that doesn't really matter. He's about to get crushed by this, and then Thor's going to push him out of the way and save him. And apparently he's been volunteering somewhere. Maybe, uh, maybe this wasn't uh, actually... Um, Maybe this wasn't like a shirt or anything, but I'm pretty sure D Blake was his was the girlfriend was the boyfriend of Jane. I could be wrong though. I mean, I haven't seen the movies in so long. I I, I haven't seen them in like a year, so I honestly don't remember. But uh, it says volunteer on his back, so maybe he was volunteering at some place and they just stole it and he just has this name tag. So I'm not exactly sure. I mean, they say he was in hiding, but how can you hide this? <laughs> And as you can see in this this guy's expression, like not all hope is lost for the Avengers. Uh, they love, they want to, they st people still love the Avengers, especially this guy. He's like, oh wow, this just re sparked, re -sparked my uh, love for the Avengers. So, you should know. I'm And then we have Kamala coming over the radio and just be like, hey, that's Thor. What's going on? Uh, and then they're all saying, like, oh, my God, Thor. Oh, my God. Yeah, so he must have been working at, like, a... Uh, serving... Serving food or something. I'm not really talking about this, but there's not really much else I can talk about. Because um, we already saw this gameplay, and there really isn't much to do other than just... Isn't really much to do. Uh, we got this little scene right here, and I'm trying to steer the ship. And then we got another area. Focusing on a specific playable character. So each hero mission... Each hero story, and as we can see... Uh, let me go back here for a second. <coughs> uh, there we go. Uh, so, 
this is obviously letting people know like what's going on and this one this one has to do with uh tony with the iron man logo right here uh mission power 15 so it's normal difficulty i guess uh, aim has been using stark industries technology for the last five years but their experiments are getting out of hand they need to be stopped and this is tony's mission uh we got assignments uh six campaigns in the re on the screen one two three four five six uh seven eight well there's Shut up. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there's probably like a... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I have no idea what this means. Oh, six campaigns probably for each of them. Maybe I have no idea. But right now we have Tony and Kamala. And this other one I can't really place might be Thor. But that wouldn't make any sense. Uh, but... And we have this little infinite symbol. Uh, so I'm assuming that the more uh, people we get, the more missions we can do. And then the more missions we can do with friends. Right here it says on the eastern seaboard we have... How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can probably do like eight um, different areas. Probably like one on the western seaboard, on the eastern seaboard, and the central area. I don't know. Uh, I don't know exactly know. Like maybe uptown New York, downtown New York. I don't know. There's probably a bunch, a bunch of different areas. Uh, but right now, obviously, this is probably play this is uh, played on PS4 uh, because like there's the R2 button, there's L1 and R1, and then like right here that has to be the touchpad, and then change hero probably is gonna be like oh press square to change hero and circle to go back or something. But it also looks like um, what's interesting is select mission, select difficulty, track mission chain, which is interesting. I want to see uh, more about that if they're gonna go into it. Uh, this one's uh, for Kamala. Uh, AIM has breached the Chimera's Hall. The Avengers must stop him by knocking out the ship out of the sky. This is exactly what we just did with uh, Thor and everything, but probably from Kamala's point of view. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. Showcase the variety and depth of our hero designs. Let's take a quick look at how Thor plays. With the game's combat system, and then, you know, we already know about this. But this is, this is going to be interesting. Because, um, <coughs> excuse me, let me turn off subtitles. Turn off subtitles here for a second. Uh, we can, we have different trees. We have melee ranged, intr intrinsic ability, and intrinsic overcharge. Um, oh, excuse me. I like this little uh, thing up here level 16, probably for online stats. And 19 power. Uh, he does like over 200. He does like at least 291 damage with uh, melee. Uh, he has 178 defense. His heroic rating is probably uh, the meaning of like how many people you save or how many like good deeds you do. And the range rating is probably like how well you do in ranged combat. Uh, we have different things. We have objective skills, gear, cosmetics, collections, and soul and social. Social is probably like you can invite friends. Collections is you can change them on the fly. Same thing with cosmetics. Uh, gear is what we're probably going to go into in a little bit. Skills is what we're seeing here. The skill tree. He has zero skill points. Um, <clears throat> and he also has objectives, which this obviously means this menu is uh, opening in the middle of combat or in the middle of an open world segment. Uh, right down here we can see it's Jarvis. Uh, and it also means uh, hold R2 or probably RT right trigger or right uh, R2 to manually target enemies while aiming in the tornado throw disables the abilities to pin combatants which kind of sucks because I really like that I really like that aspect of pinning targets where I would just throw some guy at the wall and pin him there while I'm meleeing the other guys and then immediately like pull my hammer back and just finish the guy off that would be really cool similar to how God of War kind of does it because you can kind of stick people in God of War but if they try to peel off they die so uh there's these little things, uh, probably like money or some sort of microtransactions. Uh, I saw people in uh, the chat earlier freaking out that there were microtransactions in the game, but they're heavily optional. It's not This game is paid. It's not pay to win. There's obviously going to be microtransactions. Hell, there's microtransactions in Overwatch. There's microtransactions in almost every single game. What is it going to do? Oh, yeah, you can spend these points to get what? Gear? Cosmetics? What? Oh, man. Like, you'll probably be able to find that stuff in the world anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but right here, uh, I'm interested to see what these other abilities are. This one right here is like you have this little circle that probably selects it. Uh, these are probably like, you know, increases his melee damage. Uh, you can probably do specific combos. Uh, lightning does more damage and hammer throw pins last for longer maybe. Um, which wouldn't make any sense. 
uh, intrinsic ability. I don't exactly know what this is, and intrinsic overcharge. This is probably like for his ultimate or something. Like you can have two different types of the ultimate for the Bifrost. Like this is probably the uh, this is probably like the insignia for the said Bifrost, and like when you upgrade it enough, like down here where uh, it shocks the surrounding area, and also this so it shocks the surrounding area, but it heals you. This I have no idea what it does. It's probably just rains thunder down. Access to classic moves. This is one of our favorites. Man uh, heroic moves. Oh, that was interesting. I should have. This is cool. This is probably like what I just saw. Like, has a light, like a lightning thing. Um, they have L1, R1, probably for his ultimate ability. L2, uh, L1, and R1 individually for his different ones. They just use his R1, which is amazing. Uh, we have like this is probably like the waypoint over here. Uh, we see that it did 120 damage, probably, and it's in blue, probably meaning that it's um an area where uh <coughs> excuse me uh, basically like oh hey because it's robots. I'm thinking maybe Thor is like super strong against robots. Uh, electricity wise so that's kind of good uh, we have hacking progress right here meaning this is probably a stage in the game where it's probably a break in combat where you have to survive then you have to hack something while trying to compete with aim uh, ABC capture and hold server alphas Bravo and Charlie probably I feel like it would be online for this because uh, this doesn't look like actual gameplay I mean I wouldn't mind if this is actual gameplay doing like mid kind of things but other than that I'm, I'm kind of excited to see where this game will go We have Kamala Khan. Her, her main ability is in Biggin, uh, which basically means she gets uh, like super big, uh, and she can p basically pummel anyone to the ground and make them goo. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is probably somewhere in downtown, excuse me, uh, Manhattan. But I'm excited to see what's going on here. We have this little thing right over here for these little like pixels and particles going off. I don't exactly know like what that is. Oh, it's uh this turret thing. It's like a spread or something. It has like a turret and it's probably shooting at someone over here. Probably your party member, which they're keeping secretly hidden off screen. So I want to feel like that's probably Tony or maybe maybe um, Thor. I'm not exactly too sure. Who it could it could be Hulk? For all I know. Uh, we have next is Iron Man using his repulsors, and his main objective is defeat all enemies. Uh, we have his probably this is his Unibeam. Uh, this is like a rocket, and they just use this ability, which is this, where he kind of spreads his arms out, and then he kind of goes in with the laser, which is kind of cool. Um, we have Hulk here, which is a Hulk clap, <laughs> Hulk clap. Um, which is the move, actually, funny enough, I think it's the move he used at the end of the Incredible Hulk movie where he fans the flames to to save uh, Betty, which is kind of cool. And this is the same This is the same uh, mission with Thor, so that means, like, obviously these missions are going to be able to be play, played co-op with friends. So Thor is probably over here doing something, and then here's this guy playing with Hulk and, you know, defending the area. And support. Uh, this is kind of cool, where we have Thor just walking and electrocuting every enemy nearby. And this is also the same mission with Tony, where it's just defeat all enemies. So, like I said, you can probably, like, there's probably, like, a character selection screen you can go to. And, uh, just, exp like, just tie, like, um, choose, like, who you want to be. And I'm actually kind of intrigued to see, uh, what's, like, how they're going to handle that. Uh, like, probably you obviously have to, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll have to um go about like, hey, oh, I'm I want to play as Thor, or Iron Man, or you know everything else. So we also have some aim bio bio things here because it says keep 100 feet back. I'm assuming it's obviously it's biohazard material, so I'm assuming maybe there's a way you can like either take this or destroy it. Maybe uh, I have no idea. Over here is 17 meters. This is probably your destination marker, or maybe this is how far away your friend is. Like, if he goes down or something, you can go and revive him. Uh, this looks like a little healing thing. Maybe these, this guy's like a medic or something. Uh, this entire area seems to be a biohazard zone, so I'm not sure. We, started with the signature moves from the uh, we have this little paint uh, graffiti up here that looks like Iron Dog, even though it just looks like a regular dog. I'm not exactly too sure. Uh, right now we are playing back as Kamala Khan. Same mission uh, with 
her using her fists. This is her classic outfit. They seem to have like a barricade up over here, which means that they are going to, like this is like a, oh, we need to defeat all enemies in order to progress kind of area, um, which is kind of cool. This must be like her ultimate uh, meter so she can, uh, well, this must be her ultimate, but this must be like some sort of like other meter that she can do. I'm not exactly too sure. It also says up here, respawn, uh, prohibited or something i can't really see what that says but it must be like oh you cannot respawn here so your friends must revive you or you have to spectate the rest of the game that we've always wanted to play. oh restricted there we go the assault charges the fast uh there we go and uh we have a different one where thor just you know threw his hammer movies, and you know with the electrical play. charge which is really freaking cool uh you know, and there's an electrical shock wave where you just like get off, and then immediately, when he runs on this platform, uh, keep the area secure. Uh, it's now in the uh, property of Avengers, similar to other ones. So, uh, the other one, which was just aim. So this must be like a, some sort of King of the Hill kind of uh, mode. Uh, this is cool where she just punches or where she just pushes them off the building. This must be further in the mission one because it's daytime and in a different area. Up here, you can see uh, Aim Tower, previously mentioned Stark Tower. Uh, destination markers over here. You can hear. Uh, funny enough, uh, spoilers I guess. You can see Captain America is talking uh, over the intercom, meaning Captain America is still a playable character at this point in the game. Uh, we have uh, Planet Hulk. Uh, what's it called? Planet Hulk um, armor with a sword and everything. So uh, this is the same mission that uh, Kamala was just in. This is just uh, Thor. This is the area where Thor was just walking around, and now we have Hulk uh, duking it out with some gigantic monster or gigantic monster, gigantic robot. And now we're going into Natasha's kind of gameplay, where she just shocks enemies out of the sky, which is really cool. And it kind of like can finish guys off easily. Uh, right over there, we got another one with this bio terror or bio terrorism, uh, just bio uh, biohazard material. There's NPCs walking around, so that must also mean if you hurt NPCs or kill NPCs in the game, uh, your hero rating will go down probably by a lot. So watch out for that. Yeah, see, like right there, Hulk just used Hulk smash, and then this uh, this lady just got blown back. Uh, However, missions like this is probably impossible. Uh, destroy the huge dreadbot. This was the exact same mission we just saw from the gameplay trailer with Thor. For example, Thor support Warrior's Fury. Let's him uh, Warrior's Fury is armor, uh, an armor rating, which is really kind of cool, um, because it's interesting to see uh, that your allies getting armor too. And I feel like they're gonna go over something over here in a second there, where. Yeah, that was that was it. He also what he does here, which I love, he, he starts to do it, and he's gonna talk. He he does it right there, and then immediately he flies through it. So that's extremely good timing on their part, which was really cool. Uh, like this is also an open world segment which I love. It's you just going through New York, fighting AIM allies, destroying this base probably with biohazard materials in it. Ugh, excuse me. And. Yeah, just Hulk and Kamala just doing their own thing, b building the building, so. But they're definitely worth the wait. They have more screen Thor using the Bifrost again to uh, wipe out like remaining the enemies. Thor's ultimate heroic channels the power of the nine realms, and his Bifrost taps into Muspelheim to bypass unbreakable shields, allowing Thor to use the power of the Bifrost bridge to do maximum damage. We know everyone plays differently, so we have melee. So this is yeah. They're also going to go into the fact of that they have melee. <coughs> excuse me. Um, they have melee and um, a range, aerial, aerial fighting, skills. ground combat for every single Avenger, which is cool. And probably there's going to be like an all-around type. Right here we have uh, Hulk has four skill points, and he doesn't have as. It looks like he doesn't have as much. Actually, he has like more than. Um, Thor did? He, uh, for his rage, it's interesting because he has like all this biohazard mark, which was uh, from gamma radiation. Uh, he probably like it gets really angry and imbues himself with more gamma radiation and then gets really strong. Uh, this is where he can probably heal himself. This one right here. And uh, he probably Hulk bounces and then Hulk probably Hulk spin, Hulk spin again. 
uh, bounce probably two times. Uh, probably he can hold a lightning bolt or something. Because uh, this looks like a Poseidon thing. I think it's Poseidon. Where he holds the lightning bolt. Or maybe I'm thinking of like Percy Jackson or something. Um, probably Hulk Smash. Uh, get Gamma Hammer is what he does here. It's like a Hulk kind of like a Hulk Smash. Uh, where it does medium damage, medium impact, medium stun. And, he, and it knock, knocks enemies down and launches them. Uh, same thing. Probably except he can just immediately like charge at them and then knock into enemies uh this is probably like throwing items throwing like rocks at people uh uppercutting them uh doing probably like punching them away just a neutral punch or probably like a strong punch or something uh seismic wave and then similar thing he can launch it in the air and it just launches down but you have to get it in the right area uh his heroic rating is 226 defense rating is 227 uh, this, like I said earlier, uh, this reminds me of uh, the scene from Avengers Endgame where he uses the Infinity Gauntlet and uh, snaps, where he's just screaming and just like, ah, it hurts. But that's obviously not uh, Professor Hulk, but whatever. Uh. Your hero to your playstyle. As your heroes earn experience. Yeah, but whatever this was, Hammerhead, it just him s <laughs> knocking his head into the ground, which is kind of funny. Access to new skills. Skill points allow you to unlock new moves, combos, and even new versions of attacks. As you build up your heroes, you begin to see how unlocking and mastering the separate. They're just using this move, move in action. A crap ton of enemies respawn is again restricted, so it's probably like a thing. There's your team again. Here's Captain America. Here's Thor and Miss Marvel. Probably this is the beginning of the game. Uh, I think it would be smart to show off stuff from the beginning of the game, like, oh, it's A-Day and this is all the stuff that's going down uh, on, like, for your teammates. Because this is obviously not when A-Day just first begins. Uh, AIM has always probably been an issue for the Avengers in the uh, for this past probably a few days, so it's entirely possible that the Avengers are doing something about this. This is obviously probably before Captain America died. Or maybe he just dies that early on, but they bring him back somehow, which doesn't make any sense. Otherwise, why would they bother showing Captain America off in a trailer? I don't know. This is like a jungle area, which looks kind of cool. Uh, there's a nice little waterfall uh, in the background here. This kind of reminds me of maybe like some sort of like swampy area right by where Tony lives. So. Uh, gr uh, Natasha has her grappling hook, which is kind of cool, so she can range herself in some combat. Uh, we can have some perks right here. Uh, perks right here probably increases his, uh, I want to say bones to make him stronger in combat. So whatever Hulk did, okay, this face looks ugly as sin. I feel so bad for that. Uh, <laughs> his hero rating went down, meaning he probably attacked a civilian or something, or maybe killed a civilian. So now his hero rating's down. Uh, oh, wait, heroic rating, everything, okay. So every piece of armor is different. Uh, defense rating would go up, which makes sense. Defense rating would go up, uh, range rating would go up, melee rating would go up, everything would go up, probably except for heroic, unless you look mad evil. Thor, obviously, uh, for some reason has, like, the biggest heroic rating, mainly because he's so freaking, like, lovable and nice. play differently than my Thor, and my Hulk will play different than yours. But I love what they're showing. Uh, they have some nice gear. But yes, most definitely I will be playing this game. Definitely when the game comes out. I'm really excited for it. Uh, and what they said, what they say here too, is kind of really cool, because they show off um, gamma gear, which makes you have different type of attacks and probably more stronger attacks. But your heroic rating will go down if you have uh, gamma gear equipped, which honestly, probably suck. You can also it looks like you can also change your uh, thing here because it was bef before it was something different, whereas this one obviously is different now. Um, the Crystal Team has really enjoyed creating all new outfits for these heroes and drawing from Marvel's 80 year history to bring so many classic outfits to the game. Each hero has dozens of outfits drawn from some of the most. They're probably going to have outfits from the movies. This one, that one's from like the 
fifties, I think. Where Hulk, like I know Hulk's like a businessman in that one. I don't remember what comic it was from though. You can earn them over the course of the story campaign by completing missions and deciphering patterns. Yeah, this is probably where microtransactions come in. Right up here, you see you complete missions, you get these items, but you can't really do anything. So that's probably why they add in microtransactions to where they can, you know, oh, you buy microtransactions, you can, you know, make a legendary armor or something. Which I don't see why. Who cares? It's not like it's a pay-to-win game. There's Iron Man suit from the 2014 Original Sin storyline. Or Donald Blake, which is a nod to an alias of Thor's who first appeared in 1962's Journey into Mystery, issue 83. Huh? Or Tony's Stark Tech outfit that was inspired by the Bleeding Edge armor that first appeared in Invincible Iron Man number 25 in 2010. Yep. While there are a ton of outfits you'll earn just by playing, some will require completing iconic mission chains to earn each hero's iconic outfit. Yep. And some outfits will only be available in They never said anything outfits. about microtransactions. You even oh, wait, hang on, what? Okay, some outfits will be per has to be have to be bought, which that's not microtransactions. That's literally visiting the marketplace to see what kind of skins they have, and if you want it, you can buy it, which that's fine. <laughs> it's not like it's required. You can even customize your attitude and let out your which I love emoting. Right emote. I don't think that's canon. Those are just some of the ways you'd be able to build and spec out your heroes. And you can change their okay, backgrounds. I think it's time for this one gives us a first look at how all that customization is especially fun when you play together. This is co-op and war zones. Now this is something I'm interested in because I'm going to be playing this game with some friends. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this is still on here. Uh, we got the volunteer thing. This is exactly what the scene uh, probably after probably Bruce probably calm down or something got a new shirt or something or maybe this is right before he transforms uh where um they're having this argument on the ship kamala looks kind of weird right here she's just standing still like her eyes just don't look right but that's probably just me like i said this is a pre-release version of the game which looks amazing and if those guys up there weren't humans these guys are just aim robots this looks like it's inside the aim tower or maybe it's in space i don't exactly know I like that Avengers door. There's Kamala and there's Black Widow. Maybe whoever's behind on the, uh, around this table is who's going to be joining you on the mission. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I'm excited to see that. It, yeah. Okay. So, from the looks of it, we have the entire uh, we have the entire thing. We have the Pacific Northwest, the Helicarrier, Utah Badlands, Eastern Seaboard, and two other probably uh, like Canada or something. Excuse me. But I'm really excited to see, like, uh, you have Kamala, Black Widow, Hulk, and probably, I'm assuming that's Thor, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, but you can select the Eastern Seaboard, which is just Manhattan, uh, Utah, ba Utah, Utah Badlands, I don't know why I say Utah, Utah Badlands, uh, which was in that one little scene with, H with Hank Pym with the uh, Ant-Man thing at the very begin at the very end of like the teaser trailer that was shown off at uh, E3 uh, last year uh, the Helicarrier uh, obviously Helicarrier uh, which is in the center like center area I don't exactly know where that is on the map I'm not exactly too certain uh, Pacific Northwest uh, San Francisco uh, Canada and somewhere over here I don't know and then we have all these missions, all of these missions, uh, available for on the Eastern Seaboard. Play your way, and then right before you get into the mission, this is probably like some gear you can equip beforehand, but you can also probably equip it probably at like a little uh, save area in the game. That was obviously um, Jarvis. This is just showing off the different outfits that you can have. Some stuff. This is probably a mission on the helicarrier right now. What they just showed off. There's nice bat. There's nice little banter between Hulk and her, which is Kamala smash. And then you know 
Hulk says everyone smash. Still really kind of cool. I'm excited to see what this game is like of playing with friends. Rebuilding the helicarrier. As you rebuild the helicarrier, probably more inhumans join you. Assembling of resistance, meaning you can probably purchase uh, new equipment. Probably health packs and stuff. This is the Utah Badlands area. Interesting to see what's going on with this. Uh, this is in space, I think, like a uh, space station that AIM has in oh, this is space. But I'm honestly pretty excited. This treasure chest you can do. There's Tony building his suit, probably, in the story. There's Nick Fury. Uh, this is in New York, or maybe San Francisco, I'm not sure, because it's sunny. Oh, wait, hang on. I think that was, uh, I think that was Manhattan. This is cool. This is just probably an overview of what's going on in the game. Uh, that was a really cool thing. Uh, got the Hulkbuster armor, which is really cool. So far, we've talked about the story, hero missions, and customization. Now, let's talk about war zones. I'm excited to see what I'm, I'm curious to see what war zones are. Missions, which you can play with up to a total of four players or solo with an AI companion team made up of your unlocked and leveled heroes. Whether playing hero missions or war zones, you always make forward progress with your heroes. Okay. On your helicarrier, you'll use the war table to launch missions. Love this outfit for Thor. And challenges. As you saw in the co-op trailer, each mission is grounded in story. So whether you're in the campaign or war zones, you're always working together to stop aim and rebuild the resistance. It's probably war zones is like a side mission. Nick Fury. Once you pick your mission, you'll board the Quinjet, where you can match make, switch heroes, choose your loadout, and of course, pick the right look and attitude for the job. Here we go. As you start playing missions across the globe, you'll realize AIM has entrenched themselves in cities and remote locations alike, all in the name of research. War zones range from wide open spaces designed for exploration and team traversal to dense interiors with a variety of objective based challenges, boss fights, and rewards. Here's a mission we saw in the co op trailer called To Tame a Titan, where we can see some team play. That's nice There's team play. Man, but you may have missed Kamala and Hulk performing a team finisher on that poor guy back there. When you max out some larger enemies' stun meter, two heroes can come together to perform a team finisher, which gives you a chance to take them down much faster. Teamwork makes the dream work. Living the hero life is all about growth, getting stronger and better equipped to play smarter. And There's no I in the Avengers. You do just that. As you progress through the campaign, you'll also be rebuilding and upgrading the Chimera, your helicarrier. Okay, so this is in the Utah Badlands then. Okay. The Resistance is a group who have banded together in the five years since A-Day. Some are inhuman and have powers. Some are former S.H.I.E.L.D. agents who refuse to pledge allegiance to AIM. Which is fair enough. Hank Pym. You'll join their cause in the field by working directly with factions like the Inhuman Alliance and Shield Agents Dum Dum Dugan, Nick Fury. This is so cool. <laughs> Earning faction reputation will give you access to new challenges. Hey Avengers, Will has something she needs to help. With. New vendors and more powerful items. There will always be new threats on the horizon. So yeah, new stuff, new things Avengers you can buy. Are ready for anything. We've talked about a lot today, but that's kind of the point. This is a really big, ambitious game. Marvel's Avengers isn't just a global, high-stakes race to rebuild the Avengers, to save the Inhumans, and uncover the truth about AIM's plans. That's just the beginning. This is a brand new, original Avengers single-player story that you can enjoy on your own. 
made the Crystal Dynamics way. But it's also an experience you can play with your friends that will grow as we add new heroes, new regions, and new story, all at no additional cost. Yeah, so there's going to be no, Thank like, EA bullshit where you have to us. buy the extra part of the story. Shout out to our community. Thank you for caring and telling us what you think. We're listening, and as fans ourselves, we're all working every day to make Marvel's Avengers worthy of your support. Please stick around after the show. To ask questions oh, there and we go. On behalf of the whole Marvel And there is that. But... No, no, guys, other than that, this game looks good. Uh, I'm excited to see what other stuff they could have, or what other stuff they can do um, for the game. But no, yeah, other than that, it was a, it was a really good um, trailer and a really good War Table discussion. Now, uh, I, will be, I will be doing a quick, I'll be doing a quick break. Um, and, uh, I will be right back, and we will be doing a game, uh, we'll be playing some games, alright? I'll see you guys then. See you guys in a bit.
All right, and we're gonna be, we're back, guys. So, uh, this is we're gonna be playing some uh some Portal right now. All right, so we're just gonna be switching uh switching gears right now, and uh, just gonna be talking about or just talking about what we saw, talking about our thoughts and stuff regarding uh the whole Avengers thing. But other than that, I just want to be playing some, uh, Portal. So, that's going to be interesting to see. Just need to make sure my audio and levels are working and everything. sure of that. Alright, so we're just going to be starting up with a new game here. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, but just wanted to try this out and see how other games work with Steam. You know, if you haven't heard of Portal, it's a really fun game. But, um, <clears throat> for the game, for, like, the Avengers game, I'm excited because it's just, like, I haven't, we haven't really had an Avengers, like, an Avengers game in, like, a while. Last Avengers game, really, we had was Ultimate Alliance, well, 3, but even still. But before that, it was uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Excited to see like what we can do uh, with the game. Fuck you. Oh yeah, actually, I'm curious. Did I did I get that one yet? I forgot. The radio. There it is. Guess I never got that. more soda. Oops. And also, guys, uh, for you, anyone watching on YouTube, uh, I'll, this is all streamed live over at twitch.tv slash Incarnate, so please check it out. Give me a follow. To one also, for people following me in chat, hit me with that follow button so you can know when I go live. <gasps> ah, son of a bitch! Wonder, can I grab it? No, please. <coughs> All right. But yeah, uh, if you guys are liking what you're seeing and you want more of what I do. Um, please hit me with that follow button, and also on my Twi uh, also people on YouTube can f you can also follow me on Twitter or follow me on Twitter at Matthew Jagger for daily updates on future LPs, uh, well future streams. Now, oh. there we go. Sorry, there was something under my mouse.
grab the portal gun, and there we go. Cosmic fireworks. Fireworks. Played this game in so long. I'm really excited. Like, I love this game. I want Portal 3, damn it, Valve. You're giving us Half Life Alex. <laughs> Ow. There's another thing. I'm not gonna get all the radios because I honestly don't care. Oh no, it's not like I played this game before. There's like a speed run tactic you can do here. I'm just I'm very bad at it. <laughs> Maybe it's like I have to put it like horizontal with the door. Or something. I don't know. Whatever, I'll just do the t I'll just do the test legitimate. Oh, wait a minute. Oh fuck it, whatever. <laughs> I honestly thought I can do this the speedrun tactic, but I guess not. Whatever, who cares? Portal's a really neat little puzzle game. Uh, I love Portal. I don't know why, I just I really love Portal. Like, I love puzzle games in general, too. Don't judge me that I keep doing this. Also, I glitched the game, so now there's like, an, uh, there's like a blue light. I don't know if that's supposed to be in the game or not. I just gotta wait here. Obviously, also, you guys, in the YouTube comments, uh, for those that, that are watching this on YouTube, uh, if you want, uh, leave your thoughts and opinions of the game of Avengers down in the comments down below. I'm curious to see what uh, we got. I know most people are saying that they hate the game, that it looks so bad, but I want to know what about the game looks bad. And don't just use the excuse of the game looks graphically bad. I want to know why you don't like the game 
in general. Because people say the game looks graphically bad all the time, but there has to be something about the game that, other than the graphics that make you want to look like my, my vomit. Like, I get it, like, oh man, this game is nothing compared to Last of Us. Last of Us 1, Last of Us Part 2 has amazing graphics and everything, except the story. The story, in my opinion, is just, you know, not great. <laughs> That's why I stopped doing recordings of it. But honestly, the story in itself is just not great. So... Ow! <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> and there's a radio underneath there, but I don't exactly know where to put that radio, I don't think. Ooh, look at that. But no, yeah, uh, I just, I don't know why, I wanted to get into streaming because, I don't know, streaming just seems so much fun, I can do whatever I want, I don't have to worry about anything, I don't really have to worry about anything, come on, there we go. Like, uh, streaming just seems so, I don't know, it just seems better. Recording, recording's fun and all, but I'm just going to make my channel a VOD channel and just record on stream. All I need to do is just have a capture card so I can record, uh, console games, which is fine. I'm down for that. Oops. There we go. Yeah. Also, yeah, streaming, like, I can do whatever the hell I want on streams, really. Uh, so, that I also really like that as well. Like, I mean, obviously, I said that before, but, um, it's just I don't have to worry about much of anything. I can just chill watch chat, have friends on games, and just, you know. Yeah, I just gotta wait for this uh, portal gun. Hi, there's me. Hello. Alright, there we go. And now there's this easy way to, to cheese this fight, or to cheese this. Just gonna go this. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a speedrun strap for this, and I know exactly, I, I know how to do it. Oh, wow, I almost fell off. There we go. Oh, come on. I'm bad at video games. <laughs> I'm very bad at video games, leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, 
Imagine if the portal gun was real in, like, real life. I mean, I know there's, like, replicas and shit of it all over, like, you know, uh, people who make the, made, made it and stuff. But just imagine, like, actual, like, uh, you know, actual... Like just yeah, just um, just freaking imagine that. Like just, it's real and like you can go wherever you want. Like just have a portal placed. Just have a portal like placed. I don't know, just in your bathroom or something. All you have to do is just walk out, like get up out of your chair, and you can just fall right down into the toilet. Like that'd just be funny. Or if you can somehow do it without getting caught, put it in a fast food place. That way you can easily go and get fast food. That way you don't need a car and waste money on gas and car insurance. Now this is an easy one to this is an easy one to get. There we go. So we're gonna place a portal right over there, and a portal down here, and we're gonna whoop Did it! <laughs> I'm gonna skip that entire test. Simple as that. Alright. Let's see. There we go. Is pie just because I want to. Momentum. Oh, right. Hang on. Something better over here. There we go. Son of a bitch! I placed the wrong portal. Alright, so we're gonna do that one. I need to place uh, orange when I go down.
There we go. Oh, whoops. That was not how it was supposed to go. Uh... simple. Now I need to do the same thing, which is momentum. There we go. I'm going to get on the platform and then we're going to get out of here. <sighs> yeah, that really pissed me off. Luckily, I don't do that again. There you are. Oh my god, I almost killed myself. And same thing, I can also cheese this puzzle pretty easily. So I gotta go. I think I gotta go up there. No, I don't need to go up there. I need to just stay here. Son of a bitch. I can also. I, it's it's possible to do it. I know. I know for a fact it's possible. If I can do it within a couple tries, then I'll just give up. Ah, oh, it is. I just need it to be. I need it to be facing maybe that way. Okay, maybe face it the other way. Cause I don't I don't want it to like I want it so I can face it right up there and then I can just immediately just hold W. There we go. Got it. Simple as that. I can't believe I'm getting 280 frames. That's that's like, shocking to me. But it's also obvious. It's also like because this game does not take much to run. Uh, this game, so. Of that. Uh, I think I can portal portal boot this. Oh whatever, screw it. Still got something over there, but that's I'll check that out in a second. Here we go. Alright. Sorry about that guys. Yep. Oop, son of a fucking Cake is a lie, the cake is a lie, the cake is a lie. This is what's known as a manhole, a uh, man rat, or rat man. Uh, he has just some stuff in here that's kind of like a little Easter egg, if you can find them. He has multiple things hanging ar uh, around this area, so. Whoa! 
fucking shit launched me. Oh, what the hell? Oh, my keyboard. That was weird. I need a new keyboard. It's honestly, it sucks. Keyboard for some reason just is glitching out on me majority of my time. I'm gonna die. Yep. Because they push me. They push you back. Like, it's kind of like Roadhog's ultimate a little bit. It's kind of insane. But other than that, not really. There we go. Ow. And there I go again. Oh, well, obviously I need one of the boxes. So it is, that basically confirms that I need the boxes. cube for that. And also there's another one right behind there. No you don't. Die! Forgot about that line. But I, uh, alright. How long have I been live for? I honestly don't remember. Been live for. Uh, let's see. Been live for two hours. Uh, actually, I think that's a good place to leave off. Uh, so if you guys, uh, if you guys did enjoy the stream, uh, please sure to hit that follow button. Let me know. Uh, let's me know that you guys want more. And uh, also, if you guys would like to, on YouTube, uh, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Incarnate. That way you guys can know when I go live and you can guys you can watch me live and play these games live and also react to stuff live. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody, and have a wonderful day.